people deluded i'm back again obviously thank you for always tuning in with me each and every time but arsenal's under 18s away to southampton won two goals to nil courtesy of alfie matthews and luke panj i can never say his name right and i've probably butchered it but nonetheless two strikers made the difference Gilmore got an assist. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I think Nathan Butler Odeji, Nathan Butler Odeji, and Matthew Dennis in particular for me, very good performances, man. I really liked Nathan Butler on the flanks. Him and him and him and Matt Matt, Matt Smith. We'll just call him Matt Dennis. Sorry if I said Matt Smith by accident. I, the skills people. I was seeing wonderful technical ability. They had both had intent. They were both trying to make things happen for the team. Really liked Alex Kirk at the back as well. Took a, a knock in the second half, or was it the first? In the game at some point, he took a knock, people, and he done very well to keep going on. I feel he read the game Southampton um, from a Southampton striker perspective. He read what they were trying to bring to the game very well. He was very competent in reading game situations. He was very good 1v1. You know, he distri distributed the ball well. He even brought it out from the back a couple of times. I think he did decent. I think Daniel at right back also did decent as well. I think Joel Lopez did all right in the game because they were trying to really attack him and target him in the first half, really. And credit to Southampton because they've got some very good technical players. But from an Arsenal perspective, I think we did very well, man. I think Ben Cottrell and Catalin in the midfield did very well. I think we did, our, we did our thing really and truly. I felt early on Southampton, I'd say they started the game quicker than us. But literally after the five-minute minute, five minute passage, it was all us, really. We were passing the ball about, was moving it. We weren't playing amazing, but we was in... Pardon me. We was in control of the game. Like I said, our wingers were doing our fit their thing. We're drilling passes together. We're having one, two couple efforts. But if I'm really trying to scrutinise our boys, probably could have worked the keeper a bit more collectively throughout the game. But in the first half, but we're doing all right, man. We're really doing all right. We're fighting. We're committed. We're doing. We're doing what we need to do. And when we take the lead. Um, couple other players were involved in the build-up and I can't remember I actually went so shout out to them but it's a good well taken strike from from Alfie Matthew someone who I'm sure is trying to chase a professional duo at Arsenal being one of a couple of second year scholars who contracts are running out so it's almost this is season somewhat now or never if they're going to hand him a pro deal it's it's, it's another thing but it could be cutthroat because you get released by Arsenal you go with trial at other clubs you've actually seen him um, and just like Stan Folteri, I can never say names, they've both been linked with Newcastle. Um, Alfie Matthews has been linked with a move to Newcastle. Whether he wants to go there or not, it's a different thing or they're legit. But to get a couple of players are playing for their futures. Nathan on the flanks, for me, probably the man of the match. You know, him and Matthew Dennis, give or take. I felt they were quality on the flanks, um, to be fair with you. Um, <clears throat> so it was one nil. It's it's one nil in the first half. We probably should have done a bit more to to try and get a second. There were some moments Southampton could have been encouraged by and scored. Like um, Alex Kirk had to make a wonderful last ditch challenge towards the end of the first half. So obviously at half time, it's now down for these young boys to really learn how to manage a game. Do they go out for the second and the third, or do they manage the game? Fullbacks not go up as much as possible. Uh, midfielders rein it in. Do you get it? This is what they all have to learn as they step up to 23s and I'm sure half, half of them are hoping for first team level, either here or elsewhere. In fact, all of them should be hoping for that. Um, and we did our thing. Second half, I felt we just really controlled the game. Again, we should have looked to work their keeper a bit more, but we're getting in behind. We're starting to trouble. I felt they really couldn't cope with us from wide positions. It weren't necessarily us taking players on 1v1. We was creating overloads. We was um, doubling up on them very well. We was playing quite well. And we got our second goal through really just sloppy, sloppy play from Southampton. Greenwood, I believe, delivered a set piece. I could be wrong. Keeper makes a mare of it. Um, it was just defensively making a mare. Luke reacts first and off the bench he gets Arsenal second and his first. And both our strikers have scored. And it looks like we're leaving Southampton with the valuable three points. Now, with that, we, there wasn't really much more of significance to speak in the game, people. We got the three points. I believe that's our third win of the season. Obviously, we're not going to be able to retain our, our, our league title at this level with only three wins this season. Bearing in mind it is a young squad. The vast majority of them have stepped up to do other things um, and whatnot. Um, and and, on, and are unilegible for this level. And we've played a lot of, we've got a lot of first year scholars. So we're very young in that department. 
and we've used a lot of schoolboys. So I'm hoping next season, with the experience collectively everybody's getting, we can have more of a claim in relation to retaining the league trophy. I want to see us win the FA Youth Cup. I see no problem as to why we can't give a good account of ourselves in that competition. But in relation to the game against Southampton, our under-18s did very well to get the 2-0 victory and claim three points. So I'm going to get out of it. People, it's been a pleasure. DG, I'm out.